Good morning, everyone. It's currently 7.30ish a.m. Good morning. Good morning. First thing that gets me out of bed every morning is a little saying that I say every day that goes, today's a great day. I feel great physically, mentally, and emotionally. A lot of days those three things are not true, but it sort of helps me clear out my head and start my day on a positive note and I'm ready to face the day with a little bit more positivity. And the second and probably most important thing that gets me out of bed every morning is breakfast. Time to get some ingredients from the fridge. Time to make breakfast. So what I do is I turn on the kettle because I eat oatmeal every single day. Gotta get that face beat for a long day of social activism. My last step is liner um, and I use it to draw in my portu which is the black dot on my forehead, the symbol of resistance, the symbol of my culture, symbol of reclamation of my culture. I'm currently in London, and I'm taking a class at the London School of Economics. The class is on genocide um, and the politics and prevention of genocide. It's an incredible class, and you're gonna see a day in the life of Rebecca Dharma Fallen in London. Ready? No. Ready? Pan out. Pan out. <laughs> what motivates me is knowing that there are so many problems our world faces and that we need to find solutions for these problems. Take out that hello, follow. It's just. I think it's great, Chloe. Oh. So exciting. Uh, and then you're gonna go to college. Yeah. It's so easy to get overwhelmed when you hear about the 60 plus million people who are displaced around the world or get lost in the statistics and forget the people that are behind them. We are a generation that's so poised to make a difference in the world. We've grown up with technology is sort of like a second nature to us. Off to the Congress of Future Medical Leaders. <laughs> yes. I'm pleased uh, to welcome Olivia Hallisay here today. She's our 2015 Grand Prize Google Science Fair winner. Entrepreneurs hold the American dream. And the biggest dreamers are kids. <laughs> Entrepreneur Award of the Year. Congratulations. Having dinner with friends.
friends that I just met at Leverett House at Harvard. We're eating pasta and I'm having it with Amina and Dad. Dad, say hi. Hey, everyone. We are going on a pizza Woo! adventure. It is, you know I always run. This girl's birthday. <laughs> After I head home from work, I usually head here that I've sort of converted into an engineering research lab and this is where I do all of my research. It's our last time on the tour I bus. I don't know, it's just going to be on the boat. So that, <coughs> we're going to Barcelona, our down last down. date. I'm getting kind of okay. sad, but it's been real. It's not over yet though. We're still going to turn up in Barcelona. Ain't that right, y'all? If there is something that doesn't sit right with you or that you don't think should be the way that it is, do something about it. Speak up. Take a stand. Don't let anyone tell you that you're too young or you're not qualified or you're this or you're that. Be fearless. Believe in the impossible and dream like a kid.